So I went to this, what ended up being actually a private home, but I was late. Didn't get off of work in time to drive all the way over there. And they said the most strange thing, a Presbyterian had been baptized in the Holy Spirit and he was a pastor of a Presbyterian church who spoke in tongues and he was going to give a word to college students. So I drove 76 miles, got there late, sat in the back. Nobody could see me. The place was packed. All of a sudden, he stops. And he says, I'm getting a word from the Lord about someone that is supposed to leave college and get in the ministry. So I'm fighting it because I want to get a degree. So under my breath, I'm saying to myself, it's not me. <laughs> then he says he's having problems physically. Then I said, coincidence. <laughs> in fact, he has problems in his stomach and in his spine. I said, interesting. And then he said, and you are called to leave. Your grades were great last quarter, and they're lousy this quarter because you belong in the ministry. So I became very British. <laughs> Raised my hand, and I said, there are some notable similarities between that description. <laughs> the British are laughing, by the way. They, they know where I'm going with that. And I stood up, and he reached to lay his hand on me, and that's the last thing I remembered. Because I fell. No one caught me. I hit the floor with such violent force, and I could still hear him speaking, but it was like from the end of a tunnel. When I got up, he looked at me, and he said, Son, where do you believe you're supposed to preach? I said, The University of California at Berkeley. He looked at me, and he almost fell. He said, I am the Chi Alpha director of the University of California at Berkeley. I drove back to Reading that night, got all my stuff, owned a Volkswagen. It's tragic when everything you own fits in a Volkswagen. And I drove to Berkeley and moved into a tool shed. I lived in the back of the Chi Alpha Center on 2530 College Avenue. And every day I would go out and pray in tongues till the Lord would reveal to me the details of a person's life and I would lead them to Christ. And that birth, a moment and a miraculous thing. But every once in a while, Earl Johnson would call me. I need you to come and preach. He told me I'm pastoring now a church in Reading, Bethel Church, came back and the glory of God would come in our meetings and to God be the glory for that. He would bribe me with Darlene's pies and roast beef. <laughs> 